Hello everyone. Uh, this video is on uh, if echo in uh, generalized weakness of zonules, probably post-traumatic. Neither the patient told that uh, he had a history of trauma, nor I could uh, see any phacodronesis under slit lamp. So I actually uh, 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 noticed the uh, uh, weak zonules only during insertion of the capsular axis. Here you can see to see that the pin cushion effect. I made this part uh, on the on slow motion so that it will be clearly visible. As it is lax, the zonules are lax. Um, the insertion of the the central puncture was difficult, and uh, somehow it got cut. The ALC got cut in the mid periphery, and uh, from there I started my capsular axis here. I could uh, uh, do the capsular with cystitum. One can always use a micro axis forceps for better uh, control. I was aiming for a uh, relatively larger capsular axis if. Uh, because if the, I mean, the axis becomes small in case of this generalized weakness of zonules, then surgery will be quite uh, difficult. So I think the axis is around uh, between 4.5 to 5, which was quite manageable, I thought. So after doing hydro dissection, when I was trying to do the nucleus rotation, the main challenge came. The nucleus uh, did not rotate as the zonules were quite weak. So I decided to why not repeat once again, but the result was same. So I thought uh, I start uh, I'll start my emulsification, thinking that once I debulk the cataract, the the nucleus may start rotating. So uh, with the, the chop, the first chop, the second chop. So a pie was created, I thought I will take out one pie so to debulk the bag but to my surprise whole bag was coming towards the FACO Pro. It was quite a scary situation, I, I, I decided to give time out, inject viscoelastics and I thought I will just uh, enlarge the pupil to see what is happening with the iris hooks. I use four iris hooks as the axis, capsular axis is there. One should not uh, uh, drag the rexus margin, so one can always use a spatula to lift the iris and hook it. Use the fourth one. No obvious denotations were there. I uh, did again a hydro dissection here. Then I injected a visco just below the rexis margin to create space for the passage of a CTR because as there is a general weakness, CTR will definitely help in this case as it, as it will provide the equatorial support. The leading arm has gone inside the capsular bag followed by the trailing arm. I'm using two Sinsky hook and then the seat has gone. Now you can see that uh, the piece which was not coming towards the FACO probe came uh, easily towards the FACO probe and I could uh, do the chopping easily and emulsified. Still uh, the nucleus was not rotating so I came out stopped FACO in between and uh, rotated the nucleus gently and then continued with FACO emulsification. chopping and uh, emulsifying each uh, nuclear piece that was created. The remaining half of the nucleus is also chopped and emulsified. The parameters were on the lower side as I already mentioned in the uh, video. So now this is the last piece chopped to make it in a smaller piece and then emulsified. In glass piece, the parameter should be reduced. Never allow the chamber to collapse. Put uh, viscoelastics while taking out. 
so the main now the main challenge uh, is there to remove the cortex as uh, the cortex is trapped between your ctr which is there inside the back with the tangential pull the cortex will uh, is coming out one should not lose uh, patience while um, taking out the cortex in this situation sometimes it takes time but with the tangential movement you can see that it's coming out easily now placing a uh, plate haptic avel within the capsular bag it's well centered within the bag now it's time to remove the viscoelastic going below the avel now here you can see that uh, the excess margin is oval uh, with plate haptic avel suggesting that the zones are quite weak so the chamber well formed i will well centered so all is well that, that ends well this is your one week post op i will well centered near round people with mild phacodonosis thank you thank you for watching